see you guys. Um, I want you to draw a picture, but before you draw your picture, I'm going to give you a couple of rules about drawing your picture, okay? When you go to draw your picture, the only thing you can do is make a straight line. So do you guys see my lines on my piece of paper? So the only thing you can use is a straight line. Um, can you like move the... It can go any direction, but they have to be straight, okay? It'll... So we're gonna start out really easy. Follow my rules and draw with a straight line. So can you make a happy face? I can do that, but... That's what, let me see that yours. I think my happy face got ruined. The whole point and the reason I had you do this is because I wanted to find out if you could follow my rules. And what was the rule that we had to follow when we made our pictures? Only to make lines. Only make lines like... Making a picture with only lines, that is kind of a silly rule, right? We were talking about the... About the r r rules that we had to follow in this silly activity. I want you to tell me why it's important to have rules to follow. Now, in our example with our pictures, those were silly rules, but we know that there's rules all around that are really useful and good rules. Why do we have to have rules? Because it's so you don't do really bad things and so you just do it and stuff. Maria, why do we have to have rules? Um, so we can follow them. Yeah. Why do we want to follow rules? Because rules are good. Logan, why are rules, why do we have to follow rules? Because rules are something we need to follow. Can you think of, why, why do you think we need to follow rules? Because they may be important. They may be important, right? You guys have really good ideas there. I follow along that the rules that are at home and at school and out in the community are ways to kind of direct things so things can go right and we can all get along. Now, I have a very important thing I want you to pay attention to. God has rules for God's people. And God's rules are a little bit different. Because the reason that God has rules are they're the things that help God's people guide and steer to be closer to God. And in the story that I'm going to share with you today, Jesus wanted to make sure that the people that were following God's laws were paying attention so that they could be guided in the right direction. They wanted to make sure that their heart was ready to follow God's laws. And one of the important rules that we're going to hear Jesus talk about is one that has to do with Sabbath. Have you guys ever heard that word before? It is an unusual word for sure. And if I were to give you a, what, a definition of what that word means, it simply means one day of rest. I take a day of rest each week. Call it the Sabbath. I don't the know. Sabbath, why. which is the word we were just talking about. The, call it the Sabbath. Sabbath. And make it a special day for God. Perfect. Remember the Sabbath day and treat it as holy. Six days you may work and do all your tasks. But the seventh day is a Sabbath to the Lord, your God. Do not do any work on it. Not to you or your sons or your daughters, your male or female servants, your younger animals or the immigrant who live, who is living with you because the lord made the heavens and the earth the sea and everything that is in them in six days 
but rested on the seventh day. That is why the Lord blessed the Sabbath. The story is Jesus is teaching again. Jesus does a lot of teaching, doesn't he? He's always seems to be talking to the people. So one day on the Sabbath, Jesus was in the fields of wheat with his disciples. And while they were in the fields, some of them picked the wheat and they ate it. Now, some of the leaders from the synagogues, they went and asked Jesus was why he was not taking a day of rest, but out picking grain instead. It sounds like a trick question, doesn't it, Rhea? Then there was another time, and Jesus again was in the synagogue, and it was the Sabbath day, and what should everybody be doing on the Sabbath day? Resting. Emily, what should people be doing on the Sabbath? Resting. Right, but they were, the people were there. You can rest and still be at the synagogue, and that's where they were. And there was a man who had a broken hand. And Jesus took the man, and he asked, Is it the good thing to help you on the Sabbath day, or to let you suffer on the Sabbath day and follow the law? And the people who were there were really surprised by the question. And what do you think Jesus did on the Sabbath day to the man with the broken hand? Healed it. He healed the hand. And was that a good thing? Healed the hand. Healing, yes. healing the hand. But the other, some of the people who were in the synagogue they did not think it was a good idea. And we've heard it before. Do you think that some of the people were happy or angry at what Jesus did? Angry. Those people, why do you think they might've been angry, Rhea? Because they were healing a man that, that had a broken hand. And the law is that you should not help the people. You should not work. You should not heal on the Sabbath. And Jesus is asking the people, what is more important? Is it more important to follow the rules or is it more important to help God's people? And it was a decision that the people back then have to make. And also we have to try to make those decisions all the time when we're trying to follow the rules that we have to live with and follow our heart that wants to know God better.